Hello guys, welcome once again to another tutorial session on bioinformatics and in today's video I'm going to show you how to identify insertion sequences using the IS Finder database. Now let's get started. I'm going to use a genome from the NCBI database so I will quickly go and search for that particular sequence. So I will go and search for that sequence. We can also try any other um, bacterial genomes um, as well. Okay, so this is the sequence I want to use. That's M. Austrans AGY 99 strain. So I will download the faster file. And I will save it on my computer. Okay, so I already had it downloaded but I will just re-download and that's what I've just done. So after you have your sequence or you have your genome then you can proceed to the IS Finder. I will Google for the link here. So this is the link for the IS Finder. So you will visit that site. Okay, so this is just a warning I, I got. I think it's from the browser I'm using, but I'll just skip it and then go to the IS Finder site because it's a legit website. So this is the home page for the IS finder. So a tool we are going to use is here, Blast. And then once we are there, we can begin by giving the job title. It's just for records, but you can leave it as well. Okay, so in terms of the data entry, you can choose to paste the sequence here or if it's in a file then you can just click the browse button here and then upload the file. In our case since it's a faster file we've downloaded then you just click the browse, select it and then upload it. And once we are done we can modify these parameters here but leaving it with the default settings is also fine. So we can proceed to search and we do that by clicking the blast button here and then we wait for the results to be given to us. So we have the search completed and we have the results. So if you look at the hits we have a number of insertion sequences that has been given to us. It's important for you to note that um, in order to get the relevant results, you should already have an information about um, the organism you are dealing with. In this example, I'm using the Mycobacterium austrans um, data. And so you will use that to help us identify the right insertion sequences. So the head displayed has the name of the insertion sequence, the family, the group, and then the origin, where origin indicates um, the organism that it can be found in and we also have the E value here so combining the origin and then the E value we could be able to get the right results okay if you look at the E value for these three which are also for mycobacterium ulcerans they have the lowest E value which is 0, 0.0 and in the blood search the lower the E value the more reliable the result is generally speaking okay so this gives us three insertion sequences for the Mycobacterium ulcerans sequence that we used. You should also note that this is a qualitative search, meaning that it gives you uh, the insertion sequences that are present, okay, but it does not reveal to you how many there are in that sequence. And so to find out how many of each of these insertion sequences there are, then you can use genome annotation tools like Proca 
pig up and then rust to do that. I've covered two videos on proc and then pig up respectively, and they will be given in the link um, in the description box below. This is all I have for you for today in bioinformatics, and I will see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.